Molecular Pigment Screener, MPS second generation, is a device that allows you to screen in 90 seconds for somebody who may be at risk of AMD, which is the leading cause of irreversible sight loss. The lots of devices that look at macular pigment dilate the pupil, which is invasive for the patient. Ours, you just sit down here, it takes 60 to 90 seconds. It takes up to 90 seconds if you've got a lot of macular pigment and less if you have less. You literally look down the eyepiece. If you see a flickering light, you press a button. You keep doing that for about 10 presentations. Then you get an instant result of your macular pigment reading. There's a first bit of the test, which is a familiarisation part. And what that does is that sets the spatial frequency. So that's like an individual for each patient. So when they move on to the next part, um, it's much faster because of the first bit. And there's a familiarisation process. If it's true screening, it needs to be fast, but it also needs to be reliable and accurate, which it is. And you can use it also in conjunction with the OCT so that you can see drusen at, at Brooks membrane so it can, can be done synergically. I think the, one of the bigger stories about this is really nowadays macular um, pigment uh, and supplementation and measurement is really at the fore. Uh, and if we don't start talking to our patients about things like smoking and risk factors, then I don't think we're serving uh, our patients um, as well as we should be tends to happen over the years at the moment is that people are allowed to get AMD which is say dry AMD and then dry AMD has a certain pathology and people sort of feel that you can't really do anything when somebody has dry AMD and then you let them get worse and worse over a period of I don't know seven years or so roughly and then they get what's called wet AMD which is a different pathology where the blood vessels burst at the back of the eye and that bleeding causes incredibly poor almost instantaneous vision loss. The cure at that point is a Lucentis or Avastin, which is um, a very long needle into the eye. You might take 30, 40 injections, you stabilize about 90% of the population and you only improve about 34% and it's extremely expensive so 343 billion US dollars in 2010 spent on this treatment globally. So prevention we're saying is better than the cure in um, America there's 11 million people with AMD at the moment so they've probably got offspring in their 40s 20 25 million of those so we're saying screen those people in their 40s if they have low macular pigment it's a significant risk factor for developing AMD early they've already got genetic predisposition to it so now they've got two big key risk factors at that point you can start talking to them about their diet and their lifestyle so now finally you can get people like myself in their 40s if we have a high risk of developing AMD in our 60s who wants to go blind when you've just retired not nobody so now we can start taking supplementation and change our diet and lifestyle build up our macular shield and then we'll be much better off than if we didn't do that and hopefully delay the onset of sight loss we just want to make people aware that they really have a duty of care these days to screen, just as we do glaucoma screening, to screen people, know their baseline MP, and then make sure that people are aware that they can improve on it, always.